Hello and welcome to a new video guys. Today we are installing an Ag Leader in Command 800 guidance only system into our Rogator 1254. So this is going to be a purely light bar setup and eventually down the line we can buy unlocks for this monitor to replace the rate controller and also put on smart booms and section control and all sorts of anything, auto steer, everything you want. But this and I'm going to start that up, pull it up here by the shop so that it's close enough to not have to walk from here all the way over there when I need a zip tie or something like that, or a tool, because i got to route wires and stuff, so just make it easier on myself. Dad is coming back with all the chemistry for a burn down, and uh, <clears throat> once we have that, we'll be completely ready to spray, other than uh, the nozzle tips. These nozzle tips are a .3 orifice. I ordered a .5, and they will be here within the week. But I think we're just going to spray with these. I just got to go slow, like 5 or 6 miles an hour. Instead of, once I have the .6, I'll be able to go 10 to 12. Beeping is the air pumping up. You can still drive it while the air is pumping though, so that's not a big deal. There we go. We're in position to start work. Leave Dad plenty of room. He's replacing the feeder house shaft on this 9550 had to go down to the dealership because he couldn't figure out how to get the last part of the gearbox apart so he's got that he is going to make a video on how to put all this back together all right and we're going to grab this bring it in the shop i'll show you what's in all this all right kind of limited on camera battery right now so gotta make this quick i'm gonna start opening all this stuff up this is just the power cable i believe 15 foot goes down to the battery. So we'll be hooking that up to either the battery or the starter. Also, new video that's going to be coming is putting the Yield Sense 2020 in the 9550. Um, I was just up at the place we bought it from where I got this. They got almost all the stuff ready for me, but they're still waiting on a few things. Here's the InCommand 800. It's like a pretty robust monitor, I gotta say. Look at that. Nice. Very robust. And it's got the RAM mount. This is your Wi-Fi adapter for um, for connecting to Ag Leader's cloud. So you can offload files without needing a USB drive or anything, which is neat. I didn't know this came with that. And this one is your cabling and something here, your bracket kit for the GPS globe. Let's start installing it. Alright, so there's the monitor in. I got it kind of off center so that I can still look down the row and still see my light bar. Okay, the light bar is right across the top here. A good tip is to always put your monitor in first. Because it's always just really satisfying to stare at it. Just look at that. He's paid three grand for that screen. It's super satisfying. Alright, anyway. The next thing we are going to do is we're going to put the globe up. And then we start running wires, which is my least favorite part. But got to be done. We're going to put the globe up there. I'm putting, somehow there was two globes in the box, a 6,000 or a 7,000 and a 7,500. Left the 7,500 because that's the more expensive one. I'm going to put the 7,000 up and make sure that that 7,500 one was supposed to be in the box or not. If not, we'll take it back when we go and get the yield monitor stuff. And because the 7,500 is more of an RTK globe than just regular globes. So We'll just leave it over there, put the 7,000 up, run the wire, and then run the power for the monitor, and we should be done. 
and obviously clean up the mess that I've already started to make. GPS is gloves right there on the roof. All right, so this is the main display cable coming from the monitor up in the cab. It comes down to this hole underneath the rate controller, and it comes out to this branch of cables here. And the only one we're gonna, or the only two we're gonna be using, is this three prong for power and this one for GPS. So the GPS harness, this right here, will hook up to this cable and run back up to the globe on the back side of the cab. And then this harness, the power harness, will run from the battery or starter around and plug into that three prong plug right here. I've got my GPS running down to the bottom corner of the cab and up through this hole in the corner along with my power running from the alternator up front around underneath into here. There's a small hole in there. I fished it through to here and the main harness is all in here so that if I ever have auto steer I got to plumb in it's just through that gap right there and anything else is through that hole in the back and then down. Oh, man I was hoping this mess would have cleaned itself up by the time I got back here. We're going to start the sprayer up now, power the monitor on, and see what it looks like. Or not, I got nothing, what the heck. Oh, I forgot the battery disconnect. Here's your battery disconnect handle. Stick it in here. Turn it. Now everything should have juice. Now we should be good to start it up. Forgot to zip tie this. I'm gonna zip tie that up to the side. But then it'll just be one clean cable running around. There's a power button somewhere. Right there. We got a light. A very annoying buzzer. Hang command 800. There is the Ag Leader home screen. All right, I got the Rogator all set up in here with the offsets and where the globe is and everything. So, and then we will go out and try this out, just going down some lanes and stuff. We're gonna head out to a hay field where we got room to play and. Go test this out. I'm not actually spraying, I'm just running a test and I want to be able to practice too while I do it so I'm going to be moving my booms around while I go got this loaded up here you guys are really having trouble seeing this uh, we're going to go to new pattern straight okay so I'm going to hit this set my A line going to drive to the end of the field hit it again It'll be a B line and then it'll have straight lines for me all the way across this field so I can follow them and we'll see how that works. All right, we're at the end of the field. We're going to hit that again. We have straight lines now. So I'm going to get over there, try and find my pass and try and follow it again. Here we go. Let's see if I can do this. Come back up. I'm applicating, still gonna shut that up. Alright, I'm almost there. Gonna hit my applicate button, lower my bone. Okay. I have it set at 78 feet, so I don't have to worry about overlap. Right at about 10 feet, if you start turning, you'll land right here. 
go back over there, fold up, head back up to the farm. We'll see if we're going to do any spraying tonight or not. But, uh, yeah. Ag leader works fantastic. Just got a, I noticed it's only following about 30 feet wide of the covered map. So I got to figure that out. But, uh, other than that, it's a winner. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And it helped everybody out there a lot who is in the process or going to install an ag leader in command 800 uh very straightforward and easy from my opinion anyway and so this is the end of the video thank you for watching um come back maybe next video for some spraying footage and see you next time